Today in Mullen Machinery, we have a Hardinge HLVH, serial number 8591T. According to the serial number lookup charts, it's somewhere between a 1977 and an 83. They're not clear because they skip around in that range. They don't show the exact breakdown per year, but it's somewhere after 1977 and before 1983. It's got the newer knob on it, the e-stop knob. It's, I would think it's probably early 80s. It's inch threading only. Paints a little worn on these two dials, but you can still read them. This one dial, you don't feel the detent in it. I have to, I don't know if I could check to see if the detent ball is missing, but you could feel it into the gear. It has the, the banjo gear that everyone takes out because it's only used for a handful of speed ranges, but we have it here. There's some Alaris <coughs> AXA toolbox. I can't get that French thing to cover up. Alaris tool post. There's a BTC, I believe made in England, three jaw adjust true chuck, six inch. Tail stock is the HLVH gray, the bore's pretty good. For some reason someone painted parts of the rest of the lathe. They painted the bed and the covers, but they didn't paint the the two doors, or if they did, they painted them gray. There's some miscellaneous collets in there. I didn't check them for sizes. I wouldn't count it being a set, just to say they're miscellaneous sizes. Looks like mostly hard inch. This has the coolant pump built in. The bed seems decent. There's your, your quick lever to back out, that works fine. The screws are smooth, don't feel any backlash. The slides are not bad, it's not grooved up, but it's, it's a very light lines there, but not that you can feel. The scraper marks are uh, at the edge, but gone in the middle, but it doesn't look bad. We'll run it for you right now. Speed uh, goes up and down fine. Speed the car. There we go. This is carry speed. You have a travel dial. There's a cross speed. The other direction. Feeding in. This is slow speed. Actually, it's going to pass. Slow this down. We doing oh okay we have the threading engaged now that's what we're doing okay so that's why it's louder if we disengage the threading let's see there we go that's why it was loud we were spinning the thread gears so now Slow speed. Let's put it back on fast. Let's slow it down. Okay, now we'll go back to the threading gears. So it'll be noisier, but okay. And then uh, okay. I can slow it down. Okay. 
threading. We've got the half nuts engaged. The way wipe is a shot from the coolant. They really should be changed. Aside from that, machine seems decent for the money. Check this machine out and more at mullinmachinery.com. That's M-U-L-L-I-N machinery.com.